Alighur, an unknown place in the United Province during the last century, has now become a prominent landmark in history and field of education. It was here that Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan, a great visionary, scholar, and social reformer, laid the foundation in 1875 of an institution for modern education, Mohammedan Anglo Oriental College, which became a university in 1920. The university has now gained worldwide recognition and draws students from Europe in the West to Philippines in the Far East. Sir Sayyid was born in Delhi in a family of nobles of Mughal court. However, he chose Aligarh to start a madrasa comprising seven students in his own home. A small beginning, but with big dreams. He was ably assisted by his well-wishers in his new venture, later the Nizam of Hyderabad and His Highness the Aga Khan made generous contributions towards his cause. Sir Sayyid had his early education in the traditional manner of learning Arabic and Persian but turned to mathematics, geography and other subjects to widen his knowledge and vision. The plight of his community during and after the mutiny in 1857 shocked and grieved him immensely. He realized that his community could flourish only through modern education. This idea inspired him to start an institution for his community which received a mixed response. Some came forward with financial help but others, the orthodox section, vehemently opposed it. However, the supporters, both Muslims and Hindus, stood arm in arm to guard Sir Sayyid's idea and the institution. Sir Sayyid's visit to Cambridge University in England had given him first-hand knowledge of modern Western education. It helped him to start his school, which turned into a college in two years only. Sir Sayyid traveled throughout the country to collect funds. He himself donated all his possessions and even sold his books and pictures to raise funds. Basically meant for Muslims, the institution was open to all. Even the initial seven students had two non-Muslims among them. Sir Sayyid's missionary zeal turned his concept into a movement. A symbol which marks the departure of the medieval and the beginning of the modern age and an institution which, as Gibbs said, was the first modernist institution in Islam, and a movement which, as Maulana Azaz said, it was here in Aligarh that the battle between conservatism and modernism was fought, and Sir Sayyid paved the way for the acceptance of new values of the modern culture and enlightenment which came with the new age. Chai Mahi San Unnise Gyaare Isvi ko school mein sixth class mein daakhil hua tha. Jab ye university nahi thi. Janab Al-Haj Obedur Rahman Khan Sherwani Sahib is the grand old man of the university and is popularly known as Nawab Sahib. He is 95 years young. Reminiscing about the old times, he says 
that he joined the university in 1911 in class 6 and continued studying in Aligarh till he graduated. Nawab Sahib recollects the time the Aga Khan brought King George V, the then Prince of Wales, to the institution and the prince was much impressed with what he saw. Nawab Sahib has been associated with the university in many ways. He has been a member of the Executive Council, officiating Vice-Chancellor a number of times and took over as Vice-Chancellor in 1945. They were crowned with Nawab Sahib's father, Nawab Habibul Rahman, donating all his property and library of thousands of books to the university. The collection contains handwritten books like Quran Majid by Aurangzeb. A battle dress with inscriptions of Quran written all over it. Another piece is handwritten excerpts from Quran on tree bark attributed to Hazrat Ali, the fourth caliph. The partition in 1947 created a major problem which the university solved in its own inimitable way. I think the years from 1947 to 1953, when I was a student, were particularly important and worth remembering because, as you know, in 1947, the independence and partition occurred, and a large body of students from this university uh, migrated to Pakistan. And at the same time, they were replaced in a large measure by uh, people coming from Pakistan, Hindus and Sikhs, many of whom had uh, lost their uh, parents and family members in Pakistan. And they started coming and um, being admitted to uh, the university and started living here. And um, many of us were then afraid when we were students that if we were, if they were put in the same hostels as um, Muslim students, there would be some difficulties. Uh, but Professor, uh, but uh, Dr. Zakir Hussain insisted that they should not be in separate hostels at, as at that time, but in 1950 and 51 were moved into the main hostels. And I think one of the most remarkable fact was how uh, students with these backgrounds, with past bitterness, all lived together in the same rooms and accommodated themselves to each other. Aligarh Muslim University has some peculiarities of its own, whereas it has courses in PhD in a number of subjects. It has also a school where they catch them really young. Abdullah Nursery is named after Sheikh Muhammad Abdullah of Aligarh, a pioneer in education for women and children. The nursery is up to primary standard and the education imparted follows the modern methods with the emphasis on teaching through play rather than the old rote system. The number of children is swelling every year and it is difficult to maintain a healthy staff to student ratio but the school keeps on opening new sections to cater for the overflow. Children are encouraged to take part in extracurricular and cultural activities. The university has a women's college which became fully functional in 1920. It was started by Sheikh Muhammad Abdullah of Aligarh. 
In this noble cause, Sheikh Sahib called Papa Mia was ably assisted by his Begum, affectionately known as Alabi. The college has a career planning cell, the only one of its type in an Indian university, and it runs many job-oriented courses. The principal's office displays the portraits of those who shaped and contributed towards the growth of this college. We are trying to give them training in almost in every sphere of life. When the girl comes here, joins this institution, of course, we tell them about the history of this college and how Sheikh Abdullah, with great devotion, established this institution. And now it is their duty that they should keep the name of the founder alive. The other thing is that just like boys, girls do have their own personality. They have their own likes and dislikes. And here we tell them that you select your subjects according to your liking. Also keep a, a, a certain aim in front of you that you are not after finishing a BA, BSc degree, you are not going to be a housewife. Being a housewife is very good, of course, you have to be a housewife, but you also have to take a career. Ismat Chuktai, Salma Siddiqui, Amina Fathruddin, Mohsina Kidwai, and Sunita Chandan are products of this great college. The students come from various states, even from abroad, and express satisfaction over what is being taught and the facilities provided for development of their personality. Main subject chhu science, PCB. Bajaj Kashir pet yuta dhuri pet your aligadi ko rest choose. It is a bada changa hai, padai bhot achhi hundi hai. Khedna hai, sanu encouragement mildi hai. It's very good out here, and I'm very pleased. Inka na parents sikkale panches taru university lo. Ikar chala rakala hai, chala Pradesh hal niche pillalo chadu kuttaru. चाला प्रदेशालु भाषालु भावनलु वे रही ना गानी अंधरु ओका इंट्लो ओका कुटुंबों लागा उन्टरु We have very good departments of Urdu, English, Hindi, Persian and so on. So in a sense we have been producing a people of high caliber both professionals as well as uh, people with liberal education. And I'm sure mm, the world has seen at large how the university has done very well for, for, for the kind of money it has been invested in it, for the kind of people it admits, and the society it serves. The University Polytechnic is one of the best in country. In addition to the normal engineering disciplines like civil, mechanical, and electrical engineering, it has government-sponsored programs like food craft and artisan uplift. Admissions are based on competitive examinations followed by interviews at the university. 50% of the vacancies are reserved for the AMU. Rest are open to all. Polytechnic is funded by University Grants Commission, so the standard of equipment is very high. Hydrographics is one rare subject taught in this polytechnic. No, we have not come to a restaurant. It is the hotel service section of polytechnic where the students are trained in different areas of service in a hotel. The trainees are taught finer points of service including setting up of a table. Adequate time is spent in the kitchen to make them cooks of a good standard. After six months, they are ready to take up the challenge outside. Campus interviews are held to place the candidates in various sectors. मैंने 1956 में अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम विश्वविद्यालय एक विद्यार्थी के रूप में ज्वाइन किया और उसी समय से मैं बराबर यहाँ के सामाजिक सांस्कृतिक कार्यों में बराबर हिस्सा लेता रहा और आते आते मैंने The university has 
a full-fledged department of Hindi under Professor K.P. Singh. He obtained all his degrees from Bachelor of Arts to PhD from AMU itself. The university provides facilities for studying and research in Hindi and Sanskrit also. He is the founder member of Samaj Seva Samiti, which brought people of town and university close to each other. The Maulana Azad Library is one of the hallmarks of the university. It was inaugurated in 1960 by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. The number of books in the library covering a variety of subjects is around 10 lakhs and it is growing every year. The library has a postgraduate section where only postgraduate students are allowed. The popularity of the library is evident from the large attendance it has during its working hours which extend from 8 in the morning to 2.30 in the night. There is a manuscript division with 40,000 rare manuscripts. It is consulted even by foreigners in their research work. It was Sar Sayyid's earnest desire to have the important works of other languages available in Urdu. His aim has been achieved to a great extent in the Maulana Azad Library. Since its inception, Aligarh Muslim University has been moving in step with the changing times and ever adding new subjects to the long list of its disciplines. Let's ask the Vice Chancellor for the latest developments. Regarding the new programs which we have started, I'd like to mention the program on agricultural processing, uh, the one big project we're likely to get. We have got a project on telematics. And we have started a major computerization of our laboratories, particularly what we are trying to do now is that all the students admitted to this university, we are giving them a compulsory course on computers. Computer section is very popular both with girls and boys. More and more students wish to join it. From computers to sewing machines, that is the range of this university. The successful trainees of this class have set up their own business in fabricating garments for the market and have become economically independent. The Faculty of Medicine has two components, the A.K. Thibia College for Traditional Medicine and Jawaharlal Nehru College for Modern Medicine. The Medical College has specialization courses in medicine, surgery and even in biochemistry and microbiology. There is a 100-bed hospital where the latest equipment is available for treatment and instruction.
The Students' Union, AMU, has a building of its own since early this century. Portraits of Sir Sayyid, his grandson Sir Ross Muhammad, and other national leaders oversee the proceedings of the union and its cabinet. Popularity of AMU abroad is proved by these foreign students present. My name is Asim Zubchevich. I come from Yugoslavia. My name is Hussein Abdullah Laidrous. I live in Saudi Arabia. My name is Wissam Mahmoud. I'm studying mechanical engineering final year. I am from Palestine. My name is Saleh Abdullah Bahatab. I'm from Yemen, but I came from Saudi Arabia. Zafar Iqbal former captain of Indian hockey team and another member, Govinda, practiced their art on this field. A well-equipped gymnasium is the place of pride of the university. It has the latest gadgets and machines. Incidentally, the university offers a degree course in sports also. This is Jama Masjid, where Sir Sayyid was laid to rest. Offering a chadar marks the start of birthday anniversary celebrations. The cultural items can win a praise from any critical eye. The celebrations are rounded off with a mushaira. The eye is so similar to the sea, says the poetess. One who drowns in the sea of eye can hardly survive. The grand finale of the celebrations is the annual dinner. A sit-down meal where over 17,000 men and women have food together. This is a record by itself and could well go into the Guinness Book.
smiling faces, cheerful appearances, and looks full of confidence and determination make this occasion a memorable one and Aligarh Muslim University an institution by itself. Baby. 